So look, we'll do the proper press on Monday when you meet everybody, but just your initial feelings, how, how was it to join Oxford United? Yeah, obviously delighted to be here. I think in terms of really impressed by the facilities, you know, the training facilities are terrific. Uh, and ultimately looking forward to meeting the players, that's probably the, uh, you know, the, most, the most appealing, the most attractive thing. Let's emphasise that, you're not in charge tomorrow. No, I'm sure he's going to be taking the team and the staff, I think, you know, Still, still, uh, still in the stage of it being finalised, obviously. So you know, once that's done, I think in terms of you know, you, you have to look at what's best for the players. And I think in terms of you know, the preparation has been done, the tactical work's been done. You know, with a group of staff, they know. So for me, consistency is really important. So we'll stick our head in. We'll say hello. We'll meet them and you know, have two minutes with a group, um, and then let them go. And I don't, you know, I'm not sure the interference helps. To be fair, yeah. see that frustrate me. I'd want to be straight in there and uh, 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 will that not get to you that I want to be in there helping or doing what I can? Quite possibly. I yeah. think it's, it's not an easy one, I think, in terms of you never know what's right. You never know where coming in and having immediate impact. Or, But I think in terms of with the, with the stages, you know, where we're at with it and, you know, the work that's been done and you know, the experience I've got in, in Craig Short taking them, I think, you know, that make, makes sense to do that. So we'll, we'll, we'll be around it, we'll observe, we'll see, and then obviously we can hit the ground running with a full training week next week. People can Google and find out quite a lot about you, but Hogg is here, if, sorry, Chris Hogg is here with you as well. Uh, what, what will the fans find out about him? Uh, I think first and foremost, uh, the main reason he's a terrific person, I think in terms of, I think that's why I wanted to work with him. We go back a long way in terms of youth team at Ipswich many years ago. Um, we still, always stayed in touch. And I think first and foremost, when I came back to England to start coaching, and He's someone I trust, someone whose values are really aligned to me, which I think is really important. Um, and someone who will give everything for the club. I think that in terms of, you know, I know I won't work with anyone that's got a, a better work ethic than him and, you know, the detail, how much care he puts into everything he does and, you know, the, the relationships he'll develop with the players and probably most importantly, he knows me inside out and he's able to read me, my emotion and, and what I need. So. He's a, he's a terrific assistant and I'm you know, delighted with him. You mentioned Reid. Have you read the form table? Are you mad taking the Oxford United job? Have you sit in the form table? Or is that just the challenge that you want to get stuck into? Yeah, I mean, it's the, the thing that excites me most is a group of players that are here currently. I think, um, you know, obviously watched numerous games and obviously played against, uh, had, had games against many of the lads before. So I think that's the bit that excites me the most, uh, you know, in terms of the style, how we want to play and where we want to take the team, there's a lot of players actually that fit the fit the profile and have got the qualities that, you know, uh, forget the form, we've got some terrific players here that, you know, for one reason or another have not been performing to the level they're capable of. So I think that's the bit that excites me is, you know, giving them you know, a few key pointers that I think can, can get them to the level they're capable of and, and going beyond that. I think that's the biggest thing and, you know, as successful as some of them have been in their careers is, you know, push on, be better than you have been so far. and. Yeah, that, that, that was the biggest attraction, you know, the group and you know, what I think potentially we can do as a team. And final question, you've seen the facilities at the training ground, you've been at the Kazam, you've uh, had games there, you've met the board. The ambitions and, I hate using the word, but the potential here is obvious, isn't it? Yeah, huge potential. That, that in terms of, you know, lines with me, yeah. when you look at the, you know, the ambition, the drive, the, you know, the people in terms of, you know, the, the processes they're putting in place, the way they're working, you know, there's so many things that aligned with kind of where I'm at and what's important to me. And again, that's another reason you know, I was, was keen to, to, to come in. So, yeah, it's a terrific facility. Uh, one that you know, I'm looking forward to in terms of you know, the, the hours that we can do with the lads on the grass and in, in meetings, etc. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to get going.